In this video, I'm going to try out a popular roulette strategy. It goes by the name of the Cavara system. Now, it is typically a flat bet system. Anybody that subscribes to the channel knows that I don't really like flat betting systems. So we are going to update it um, using a bit of a D'Alembert system. Now, this was introduced to us by Trader Ian, friend of the channel. And we're going to try it out. I've got it auto-saved because you'll see that the, the placements of the bets are quite specific. In fact, I've got it auto-saved, so I'll jump in straight away. I've got a $1,000 bankroll. I've got it saved in my favourites, playing at BC Game. Click that, and it's on the table for us already. I'll talk you through the probabilities and the winning scenarios, but basically, we have one unit. We're using... One unit is $10 for us. So one unit on the corner, zero, one, two, three. Then you have one unit on these splits. Let me get that board for you. 8, 11, 13, 14, 15, 18, 17, 20, 27, and 30. And then you have two units on that N6 line. Which we've just hit, okay? Let me just repeat that bet. So we had $80 on the table and we returned 120. So on a winner, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to repeat that bet. That line bet here that covers six numbers returns plus four units. So in our case, that's plus $40. One unit, it's $10 for us. So you've got six numbers in that line bet which gives us a 16.2% probability of hitting that one there. We just hit it again. Very nice. There's another $40 profit. We're off to a good start, which is a bit worrying because we don't normally do that. We're $80 up. Let me just repeat this bet. Okay, and I'll talk you through the probabilities of all these different sections. So the corner bet here. Let's go to the board so you can see it properly. Zero, one, two, and three. You have four numbers, which means a 10.8% probability. And if that corner wins, that's a one unit profit, so $10. $34. It keeps on landing in this end six line, which is really good for us. Another $40 profit. Just repeat that bet. So I've already explained that the line bet Six numbers, 16.2%, and that's a four-unit profit. Now, our big ones that we actually have more chance of hitting, excuse me, our split bets, we have 10 numbers covered here. Five different splits covers 10 numbers. 10 numbers is 27% probability of hitting. That is not one of them. So let's increase our bets on a loser. I'm going to double it this time. So we've got two units on the corner, two units on the split, and four units on the six line. So we have 17 wax, 17 numbers that a miss, which is what just happened then. So that's a 46% probability, almost one in two that will that will completely miss. Right, so on a win, I'm going to reset back down to the original bet. So I'm not going to repeat. I'm just going to go down to the original. We're actually in profit here. We're $60 in profit. Now, I've just noticed that I think we went slightly backwards then because we doubled our bets and then we actually hit the worst winning number that we could. If, I know that sounds strange, like a worse winning number, but out of all of the profit that we could have made, that corner bet was the worst one. Thirty-two is a winner. We made a hundred dollars so far, guys. Very good, so far. Let's just repeat that. Now we are. I can tell straight away that we are being more lucky than we would expect. Like I said from the start, we've got 17 numbers that are wax. Essentially, 
just less than one in two will get whacked. I think we've only had one whack out of five so far, so this isn't how it should normally play out. That's a whack. So we'll repeat and we'll go up a unit on everything. So up 10 on these and up 20 on, on this one. Surprisingly, we haven't hit a split yet. That's the one that has a 27% probability of, of hitting. And if we hit that, that is a 10 unit profit. So in our case, that's a $100 profit. Those are the ones that we want to be hitting. We'll hit anything, but ideally we want to be hitting those splits. Keep on getting this. Uh... So here you go. That's gone straight back down to $100. So we recouped our winnings. Sorry, we recouped our losses from the previous bet. By going up one unit after a loss, when we hit that line bet, we broke even. Like I said, right at the start, this strategy originally is just a flat bet. You just do this again and again and again and hopefully make some money. I don't really like that. Now, I can get into a bit of trouble because if I hit a lot of losers and I keep on... Um, Adding to my bets, I could get in a bit of trouble, but that's just how I play. I think that's a oh, that's a winner. That's a hundred dollar profit there. We are two hundred dollars up so far. Pretty good. I'm just going to repeat this. Yeah, doing doing quite well. Now, some of you guys might notice that the numbers that this covers. Creates little pockets of winners for us on the on the roulette wheel. What do I mean by that? Basically, we're grouped together. So like 8, 11, 30 are winners. Hit number two, that's a winner. A $10 profit. Beat that. So they're not all next to each other on the wheel, but the, the way that these bets are set up with the splits, for example, we do have little portions of, um, of numbers that are next to each other on the wheels that will give us our profit. And what's interesting about this strategy is we have different wins. We have a $10 win. We have a $40 win. We have a $100 win. We have a no dollar win. Which is that one there? That was a whack. We lost eighty dollars there. Let's repeat the bet and get on to um, get an extra unit on all of them, or two units extra on this one. We've not lost two in a row yet, which I think we're due, and that will be interesting to see what happens when we hit two in a row. Then all these will go to thirty, 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 and this one will go to sixty, and that will be interesting to see what happens after that. That is a winner. So we know from last time. We know from last time that hitting our six line after increasing by a unit makes us break even. We're back to 200. Well, you can't see there, but 1,130 plus our $80 is 1,210. So we are $210 in profit, which we were before we lost and then increased. Okay, that's another $40 profit. Quite liking this system so far. I don't want to get too greedy with this. I think we'll try and hit $1,300 profit, which could happen if we hit a split now, then that's basically job done. The reason why I don't want to get too greedy, guys, I am giving away $500 on Sunday. It's my son's birthday, so going to be an expensive day i'm going to also give some prizes out to the community if you want a portion of that join bc game using the code matchmaker come and join the discord and get involved in the giveaway i don't see why you wouldn't do that free money <laughs> 28 is a loser we might not get there but win or lose 
that money is getting given away on Sunday. I've just gone up one unit. I've gone up 10 on all of these, and I've gone up 20 on this one. I've got a feeling we could lose two in a row very, very soon. Well, that was one in a row. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, there we go. I had a feeling that was that was coming. Right, now I'm going to go up another unit again. So let's get 10 on here. I need to go up 20 here. We've got a $240 bet now. So my, let's, should we call it greed? My greed to increase on a loss, because I just don't like flat betting, would start to get us into a bit of trouble here. 240 Oh, that's a loss right between the three and zero. Right. Bit of trouble now, guys. Go up again. Then we need to go up to 80 here. $320 bets. If we miss this, we only have one more bet. Turn around pretty quick. Maybe you should stick with flat bets. Let me know. Do Should we stick with flat bets? I don't really like doing it, but this has got out of control pretty fast. Okay, that is a win. I'll be interested to see where we go back to. Yeah, so we didn't recoup enough. We're still in a loss now. 9.30. All those profits have gone. Interesting. Right, I'm back to the original Cavarus bet. Starting base, one on all of these, 20 here. But you can see, even after progressing three losses in a row, that was a loss, that was a loss, that was a loss, our balance has not recouped. So, flat betting, it definitely wouldn't have recouped. Another loss. Let's repeat that and go up a unit. So I think we've hit a lot of smaller wins. We've hit this six line with four unit profit a lot of times. I don't think we've hit that many splits. And I think we've... But to be honest, I don't think we've hit um, enough wax. I think we should be getting whacked more than we have. And we're still not in profit. We'll keep going and we'll try to figure it out as we go along. Hmm. That's a loss. Go up here, guys. And that goes to 60. $240 bets, $450 balance. I think we need to hit split to get back to get back to even probably that is a split 990 right we're, we're ten dollars away from break even i reached the part um we were 250 dollars in profit we were 500 dollars in loss and now we're essentially break even not sure what to make of this popular roulette strategy. I'm I'm certain if we were flat betting, we would be worse off. I'm almost yeah. I, I'm pretty certain of that. Oh, that's hit the other split. Now we're ninety dollars in profit. The bit um, what would the word be? Volatile, I guess is the right word. You can, I mean, it looked very easy in the first 10 minutes, didn't it? We were 
We were just winning and winning, collecting $40, collecting $10. And we hit three losses in a row and we got in trouble. And now we're back to $90 profit. Volatility is fun though, right? My internet's lagging, sorry. Okay, repeat that and double on a loss. Sorry about my internet connection then. Everything sort of stopped. Just trying to work out what sensible take profit target would be. I'm normally at about 20%, 30%. We got to 25% and I just kept on going. Right, 17 is a good one. $1,210. That's a sensible take profit target. $200 profit. We've just hit a winner. I think you need to increase your bets on a loss. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Pretty interesting way to set up your bets. I'm going to take the $200 profit. I'm going to put it in the giveaway pot. Got $500 given away on Sunday. Make sure to sign up to BC Game using the code MATCHMAKER and join the Discord if you want a portion of that. Thanks very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.